Hey guys, PMHK here, obviously. Now, since I made a video on the iPhone SE 2020, I've kind of been looking for an alternative on the Android side, which will also not break the bank, which will also not gonna be as expensive as the flagships that are coming out now, which can cost up to 20 something uh, thousand rand. Now, this device here that I have in front of me is the Galaxy A50. Now, this is not a brand new device. This is a device that was released back in 2019. Uh, its current devices or its current phone on the lineup would be the Galaxy A51 and also the Galaxy maybe A70, 71. Uh, but in hand, we have the Galaxy A50. Now, this guy, for the price that it goes, it actually comes also with uh, good features that that makes it an option that you actually should be looking at if you're looking to buy a phone currently that really you don't want to put too much money on it now this is not a holistic review of this device whatsoever i i really just wanted to jump in here and make this video because i came across this device and i actually loved some of the feature that this uh, budget phone or mid tier phone uh, comes with and as i always say this media mid this mid tier phone and budget or premium devices lines are actually kind of becoming blurry uh, the more time passes but a, in my understanding this would actually qualify as a budget device all right so this device itself is made out of plastic obviously since they were trying to keep the price of the device down in terms of the ports and io uh, on the side you have your sim tray this device also will allow you to put extra storage and you are actually capable of ranking it up up to 512 uh, gigs of storage you have the volume up button on the other side you have your power on and off switch and behind obviously you have the triple design camera most of the devices coming out right now will be coming either with triple or quad lens setup which actually has uh lenses that we actually don't really need it and and actually in honestly thinking i really think they should just go like the, what apple does with their devices they put a single very good camera and they call it a day than having three cameras where you really don't need this amount of cameras on a, a budget device now you're going to be getting a 25 a 5 and an 8 megapixel camera and uh, the one in front is also a 25 that's basically the camera that you're going to use to take your selfies under you have your uh, headphone jack this is still comes with the headphone jack and it actually comes with a USB-C connection port and on the side you have your microphone and you have your speaker grill and that's basically about it in terms of what's on the hardware or what's on the outside of the phone itself now in front is where actually the magic uh, happens this is an amoled display uh, this display itself is 6.4 inch and it packs a 1080 by 23 by 40 uh, resolution and it's actually really really good i actually like how bright it is and i actually like the quality i actually tested this phone for uh, i think it's been two days now and the quality of the screen is actually something that amazed me that's why one of the reasons i jumped in here to uh, show you guys this device now this guy will come with a fingerprint or, or an in display fingerprint sensor which is it's okay it's really uh, it's it's fast enough for it to be here and you not having to wait for it too long to unlock as you guys can see if i do that it does not unlock but if i hold it just a second longer it will actually unlock the device itself now when this device was released it came with two variants it came with three colors black white and blue now the one variant would come with six gig and the other variant has a four gig memory on the inside and they actually both had only 64 megabytes of storage which as i mentioned you can actually rank it up up to 512 uh, gig now enough of features and uh what's or not 
what at least me what i mainly use my phones for these days if it's not for taking picture is basically for media consumption now let's jump on uh, maybe youtube and see how good of a display this phone actually has android phone i know in this channel we are mainly or most of the time speaking about uh, ios devices and i've actually also seen in the comments that you guys want to start seeing more android based devices since those devices are actually quite uh these devices are actually quite much affordable as now uh this phone actually has a good quality i've already actually seen it play before uh, but as I said, it's an AMOLED display, so the quality when it comes to playing back media, it's actually going to be a really good one. Now, as for the audio, it could actually have been better, but as again, this is a budget device, you're really not going to be getting state-of-the-art audio. And it only actually fires from at the bottom, so if you're not careful and you uh, cover the speakers, you're actually not going to be able to hear anything else playing it actually muffles the whole uh, sound itself now jumping in on the camera quickly now this is not a proper camera test obviously you always take this camera test with a grain of salt but let's take a picture of my nintendo switch controllers here just to show you guys how the quality of the camera kind of is now if i just snap there and uh let's go and view the picture and yeah it's actually really really vibrant and now let's go you can actually also have live focus hence uh the third camera that the phone comes with so live focus normally is for uh the blurry background as you guys can see me there it doesn't really do that much justice on the corners and you can actually also uh, regulate uh, let me just show you guys to you you can regulate how much focus the camera actually picks uh right there let me take a picture and actually just show you guys at the maximum setting how it would look like Okay, so you have live focus, you have the normal focus, you have video as well, and you have more modes. And obviously, because it has a three camera array, you're going to be able to take wider angle pictures. So this is as wide as it would get. Snap. And then uh, this is the regular one. Snap there. Now, if I had to make a quick comparison of this device with the Hisense Infinity H40 that I reviewed on the channel not so long ago, uh, you will see that the main differences between these guys are, as you guys can see, the Infinity is a little bit on a thick side. Uh, and also the displays itself, one has an LCD, the other one has an AMOLED uh, display. The camera also, the one has the uh, eyedrop camera uh, format and the other one has a single infinity all camera right on the left corner the other main difference that you're going to pick up from these two is that one uh, which is the h40 has a fingerprint sensor at the back which i actually prefer a physical fingerprint sensor than the one on the in display and the, obviously the samsung a50 would come with the fingerprint in display uh, which is actually okay i actually have no problem with that but i actually do prefer the one that comes at the back of the device itself so yeah that's gonna be it for this video make sure you let me know down in the comments which budget phones are you guys currently using or which phones budget phones are you guys uh, thinking of buying next and as usual make sure you, if you're not subscribed to the channel you go and you subscribe to the channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure also you click that notification bell button to get notified whenever i upload a video and i'm gonna catch you guys on my next one peace